Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be using a triangle canvas for the first time. Super excited about this. Um, it was actually labeled a squangle on Amazon. So, and it's pretty thick, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, so let's just dive right in and do this. Um, I'll have the Amazon link below if this is something you're interested in purchasing too. I also want to apologize if there's any background noise in the back. We do currently have our washing machine and dryer on. So I just want to apologize for that in advance. Awesome. So let me zoom in on this. There we go. Beautiful. So the colors I'm going to be using today are blue, white, a little bit of red, and lastly, some gold that I had left over from my previous pours. So let's dive right in. All right, got my handy dandy palette knife. It's a Liquitex Freestyle. Um, kind of looks like a spatula, but really does the job. Oh, there goes the washing machine. All right, so I think I want this to be a nice white triangle with some bursts of color in the middle. Probably doesn't make too much sense right now, but it'll make more sense once I do it. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a good amount in the middle. And do that. And there's the doorbell. But my brothers will get it, so it'll be fine. So that part is done. Now for the fun part. I'm going to get some blue. Alright, well since this is a triangle, I need to think about this a little bit more composition wise. Hmm. I want to be smart about this. So maybe I can do it like this. Not sure if it's going to drip there. All right, we got some blue. I'm going to do a streak of red. Oh, didn't find that. I'm going to do some puddles of red as well. There we go. And actually, I want to bring this white back again. So I think it'd be pretty cool. So you might be wondering what I'm doing. This, I'm going to use a technique that I found by um, Fluid Art by Danielle on Instagram. She does this really cool technique where she just kind of blows on it throughout the canvas and I think it comes out looking very gorgeous with very um, large amounts of negative space which I love having negative space in my paintings I just feel like it makes it more interesting um, I'm not the biggest fan of canvases or paintings that don't really give your eyes time to rest. Um, I mean, I still think they're really neat, so I can definitely appreciate it still. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to do this before I, maybe just a dot right there. All right, hopefully you can see all this. Looks like you can, all right. Look at that. All right, that 
that is super cool. I think I wanna drip a little bit more gold, maybe right there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, see, I love how it's dripping down right there too. All right, let's see if we can do some other cool stuff. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. Maybe a little bit more red right there. There we go. Huh. Wondering if there's anything else we can do here. Maybe. Very pretty. So, <clears throat> what I'm nervous about, so this red is actually a different brand. Um, it's from Artist Loft. And I've noticed that with that, it doesn't really dry well. Like the red tends to disappear and kind of sink into my other Liquitex basic paints. So I might have to watch over this a little bit to make sure that the red stays in there because there's lots of cool cells happening right now. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Look at that. So like right around here, there's lots of like cool intricate cells happening. Um, I'm just worried about all of that disappearing. <laughs> okay. Got some cool drip action. Whoop. Do that. And a little bit of this. Some drips of gold. Can never have enough gold, you know? And I do want to make sure this white stays here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll blow it from this way and I really hope I don't block the angle for you, but we'll see. Maybe if I add a little bit more red, right? There on the tip. Maybe some gold too. Super cool. I think you can already start to see the red kind of disappear. Like see how it's kind of sinking in to the white a little bit. There was a little bit more earlier. I wonder if those tiny bits of red will be enough. I don't really want to mess with it too much. But I wish the colors would just stay. But now I know that Next time I need to use regular, probably a Liquitex red. Let's see if I can bring it back up right. Right there. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, you can even see it right here. Let me see 
if it'll zoom in I'll bring it there you can kind of see how like the red is going under the white here and I don't like how it does that but what are you gonna do all right so here's my angle that I had been painting in for some time let's see if this will you know, look at that There's a lot of cool, like, interlacing going on. I'll show you the other side now. All right, here's the other side. This side's actually got a lot more color than dripped off the side. So it's two in the morning and I decided to make some changes um, because as I predicted, most of the red had disappeared. I know what you're seeing right now, there's red, but I promise you none of that red was there before. So um, I started playing with it a little bit and then I realized, oh wait, I should probably record what I'm doing. So I was using some popsicle sticks. I have one in here um, to help me recreate the reds that should have been in there and I blew on them because the paint's still a little bit wet. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I kind of like this splatter effect that I do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue paint and put it on the tips of my fingers, which I will do right now. Do is I dab a little bit on my fingers and rub it in, and then I just kind of like flick it. I really like the effect that it does, and make sure to try to get it on the sides too um, to kind of get this really cool. I don't know. Um, it's a splatter effect. I'm gonna come around the other side. All right, so this is how I see it from my perspective. I think I like it a lot from this side too. Show right here. Super, super cool. Yeah, so that's the painting. Let me know what you guys think. And if you try this technique, then feel free to show me too. Please remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more art-related content. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Alright, bye.